Hey there YouTube, Elite Legionario here, bringing you another 1 vs 1 for Total War Rome 2. Today I shall be going KF Heavy with my Parthian army and facing the same opponent from the last game, where he will be using the Iceni. Um, and right away I'm going to say, this game, this particular match, is the greatest example of the game mechanics completely cheating you out. I'm going to say that right away because you're going to see some of the... Uh, this battle really frustrated me. Not not my opponent, he was a nice guy um, and you know he played well and he, he was, you know, he completely agreed with me about what happens in this fight. I, I honestly, I don't know what the heck happens, but you're going to see it. It was a, you know, it was a really good fight. It was a great fight, a very close one, but you're going to see kind of why I felt, felt a bit cheated out by this fight. Um, but I won't go on, I won't reveal any more of that to you and, until you see what's going on. So, um, I bought five units of Eastern Cataphracts. You always expect lots of these in the battle. I got one unit of Royal Cataphracts for my general, five Eastern Cataphracts, three units of Mercenary Hoplites. Now, obviously, these are not great Hoplites for Handy Stretch, but um, I can expect them to hold up enemy infantry for me while I do something else with my calf. I got three units of Eastern Slingers. Eastern Slingers, in my opinion, are slightly better than the traditional Slingers. I think they're better. Um, I have four units of Parthian horse archers, these dudes do have heavy shot so you're going to see me ripping into those armoured units pretty aggressively there and uh, I also have two units of camel spearmen, now the camels here are to basically um, scare the enemy horses so I can route them real quickly so I can get my cataphracts in to cause as much chaos as possible. I also have a unit of elephants, um, Indian war elephants which are better than those traditional African ones. These guys are just here for morale damage just to make sure my, basically I just want my cab absolutely smashed straight through, do as much damage as possible. So uh, anyway, uh, my opponent kind of started down here, I was thinking he just would have started in there, I would have started in there if I were him, don't know why he started down here. Um, so anyway, um, I'm going to push through and go to this high ground. So then when, if there's any enemy cavalry in this wooded area, I can go from here and here and go straight down the hill if I need to charge to his infantry. So I want to try and get better terrain, which I'm working to get. So if we look at his army, uh, in the front here he's got one, there's a one spearman on the flank, four heroic nobles in the centre, one, two, three, four, I think he's got four, four slingers there, and one, two, three, I think five heroic riders. So he is in wedge formation, so he's going to have a better charge. However, he's going to reduce his melee. And to be honest, the melee stats for these kind of units are what's, what's their, you know, some of their best statistics. So going into wedge like this isn't really in his favour. In my opinion, I don't really think wedge should be used a, like unless you're going to be charging to the back of an enemy infantry unit. Um, stick with normal formation with, with melee cavalry because you get more defence. You want you want that defence. Um, they do get more attack though, so you know it just depends. Um, what else does he do? Yeah, so here, look, let's look at this spear noble now. Already down to 71 from 120. Getting, get, I went to the right too because the shields can't guard them from the right. So that unit's gone, just like that, from missile fire. Um, so I brought my uh, camels down and my, one of my cataphracts to the top, and I'll use my other cataphracts from over here. So now I'm pumping missile fire into them. I'm going to top three of them off. Uh, I've got four cataphracts here for this side and I've got my elephants up here to go to whatever side requires their assistance. So I pretty well see it. Um, here I see his general, so I'm going to see if I can kill him because it'll always be, it's always useful if you can route the enemy general. And as you know, Heavy Shot is a complete beast. Um, as I keep saying in my videos, I'm sure you're probably sick of hearing me going on about it, but I can't, I can't describe how good it is uh, in effect there. So this guy is down to 42, so he really needs to be watching this. Um, uh, anyway, uh, he does manage to catch this unit here, but a bad micro on my part. But this unit, general units, down to 30 men already, completely halved. I still got two units here, and that was one, one unit here, so he caught one of them. Okay, I take it back. They're only at 56. I was looking at my own unit there. My bad. Um, right. So this unit here, I've halved though, pretty much. And now I'm going to charge him here while he's in the woods, basically, um, because he will get a penalty in the woods. Although I probably should have waited till he's out of the woods so I could get a better charge. Um, but I was hoping that the camels, in conjunction with the power of Cataphract's charge, would break him much sooner than this. So here's a charge into his side, so that's a good charge for me. 
and I've got camels from the other side and this unit of cataphracts here and I believe I've got all tramples off because sometimes I forget trample and there's another one of my cataphracts coming in there so I get a really good good charge there and as you can see already that unit there was looking like it was going to break over here I put my mercenary hoplites in however this was a wee bit too hasty I, I should have waited a wee bit more before I did that because now they're not going to be able to last very long uh, however, now I'm going to get behind his line and I'm going to try and run down his slingers with these horse archers. Uh, as you can see, those infantry are well and truly gone. But uh, his cavalry is pretty much gone, as it should be. Um, although it's my camel going there. Um, I was really thinking... Um, I was infantry, his cavalry was almost gone. Uh, one of them's going over there. I was really thinking my camels would have done better than that because they had all that cataphract to support and they would have been scaring the crap out of his guys there. Um, what is their stats? Steady attacked in the rear. So they don't seem to have a afraid of camels thing, so I don't know. I thought they would be. They usually do. So over here, um, I used my ca elephants very wrongly. Very, very wrong. But um, fortunately for me, um, I got my cataphracts coming in for the charge right into the back and I'm going to get some nasty charges there um, and that's going to deal out all the damage in the world to his infantry so I have to take it off to his uh, noble his uh, heroic riders they did very well considering their opposition um, these cataphracts uh, are much better cavalry um, but he did very well I'm surprised to be honest maybe the trees were helping him I'm not sure um, but he did very very well there in that fight my cataphracts are a great deal better these guys are about to rout um, they're going to take some nasty losses and here's, here's where I get a lot of his slingers however I should have kept going with this and pushed his slingers harder because um, I'm going to get them run them down pretty badly here so the bar still seems quite adamantly against me, but I don't really know why, because I felt I was pretty much in charge of this fight, almost the entirety of it. Nothing against my opponent, but I felt like I really was. So here I get a good charge into him here. Um, however, this Eastern Cataphract is starting to rout, so I don't really know... Oh, he might, oh, this might be why. He got a spear band in. I don't know if I noticed that. Although I do have missile fire for my slings going into that. Now here's his general way over here, he completely forgot about it, and I knew it was there and I thought to myself, nah, I'll just focus on getting rid of his army. Big mistake. I should have gone and killed this general, because this general comes back and it is a real nuisance. It really screws me over when it comes back. Um, but as you can see, I route all his infantry, the bar is, and most of his infantry, his cavalry, look at it, bar's starting to majorly come in my favour. All he's got now is um, a couple of heroic nobles here and another one here and they're all pretty darn exhausted I think yeah they're all exhausted um, but this general unit oh I made such a huge mistake in not dealing with that I really thought it shouldn't matter I figured I got loose cataphracts left they've still got really good numbers um, I routed most of his guys I got my royal cataphract here with 57 I got this unit of other cataphracts 38 this one with 54, uh, this one with 59, you know, I got my horse archers, I got my slings, I've got this, you know, I was I was really certain I had it, well I wasn't trying to be cocky, but I was pretty comfortable that I had got him here, got flank shots on his guys here, his heroic nobles, his cavalry is gone, um, I was honestly, you know, I mean look at it, he's completely surrounded, if we, let's, let's go to the tactical map, look at his army, it's completely surrounded, except kept a couple of, uh, one of his heroic nobles appears to have regrouped, <coughs> sorry guys, um, and I mean I was getting heavy shot in, his men are exhausted, um, and I, I just thought, you know, yep, I mean look at the bar, it's starting to go majorly in my favour, um, but believe you me, this this blunder of not dealing with this heroic this general unit was monumental in the end. I was I was look at this. I'm routing this unit of heroic nobles. I've got a good charge on it with these eastern cataphracts. Um, getting lots of missile fire into these dudes from all you know from multiple angles. Or I think these guys might be out actually. Still got elephants to add support when needed. Uh, here's, a, here's a heroic noble unit. I really thought I'd thrash it in the charge. For some reason it's, you know, well I do thrash it in the charge. I do quite a bit of damage. But it doesn't break. Even though I used two cataphract units to charge it, it did not break. Um, and I don't even think he braced. Uh, he got very fortunate there because I have no idea why they, they these units held, this unit held so long. 
um, and he still hasn't registered his generals over here. So uh, here I charge my elephants in, um, and I'm going to charge the rest of my guys in. And I was thinking, these guys are surely going to rout now. Got my general right in there, got missile fire coming in, got to get multiple angle charges, cataphracts, everything. Good full charges into the flank with my cataphracts. Got my general rallying. His general's way the hell over there, not even near his army. His men are utterly exhausted. Mine are still at least even. Um, these guys held and held and held until I broke this unit here and I was thinking yeah I've got to have this now this unit over here um, it's down by half still got plenty of cataphracts everywhere uh, these units are going to break any moment now um, but believe you me I just got I, I don't know maybe these little wood these woods were working really well for my opponent I don't know I've got another charge in here I've got another one coming oh that's slinger sorry my bad you know, I've got this unit completely encircled and they just don't want to break. Um, he, I don't know what was up. These guys were not breaking. Um, ordinarily, they would break. Believe you me, they would break. Um, this unit of horse archers routes. Uh, finally, that looks like they're going to break. But every time it looks like they're going to break, they regroup. I'm sure that unit starts to regroup. Uh, this unit of Parthian horse archers is going. Uh, I pull my cataphracts out of here. I think, right... I need another charge. Look at this. That happened. These two units break and re or, or start routing and regroup time and time again. It was extremely frustrating. Um, he brings his general back now too. This is where if I just killed it earlier, I could have so routed this army so much quicker. I, honestly, this is what I mean. No matter what I do in this fight, I just can't break these guys. They just won't break. I get multiple charges. I get six, seven charges on them. I can surround them several times. I pick off his general here. I kill his general. Um, but they just do not break. I could not fathom what was happening in this fight. I mean, I had I had it, and now it's bars starting to move against me. I completely had this battle in hand. I, I don't know what was happening. It was just phenomenal. I had my general rallying. I had trample. I had surround. I had like six charges. I had flank shots. I had overwhelming number superiority in the area. I had elephants in support. And all he had was two infantry units, and he managed to hold off everything. I kill his general here, and I think, right, I'm still in this now. His general's dead. Surely his men are going to rout now. He moves them into the woods here, which was smart. Good move on my opponent's part. And, you know, I've got missile fire coming in from the flank on him. Um, you know, and his men are absolutely exhausted beyond exhaustion. I mean, look at them. My cataphracts are, uh, yeah, they're exhausted, but I've still got quite a huge number of them, although I have lost a lot as well. Um, and they've got boatloads of kills, 147, 55, 70, 103. Slingers are in the 50s. Um, oh yeah, I mean, he, this this guy, like, seriously, he had, like, the most favour on his side. I have, I cannot put it any other way. Like, I'm not, like, he was a great guy to play with. Like, I really enjoyed playing with him, but I could not fathom what was going on when I fought him in this fight. Because, like, it seemed no matter what I did, like, you know, multiple circumstances, superior numbers, um trample, you know, killing his general, then using my own general to rally to boost defense more than once, and I just didn't break them, it was it was really bizarre utterly bizarre, I couldn't you know, I couldn't understand it, um, and now the bar is against me, and you know, I, I just couldn't understand, it was like it was a great game. He like kept me on my heels the entire time. He, he he's what he was a real scrapper, you know, because I you know pretty much for every part of this fight it looked like I was going to win it. Um, he just did not give up. So here I get a good charge in, and you know that unit, you know, gets should be completely just totally turned into Swiss cheese by that charge, um, and it is you know it is pretty much turned to Swiss cheese, but. I finally break that unit, and I thought, right, come on, I mean, if it's, I should be able to break them that easily, but, you know, these units just didn't disengage very well here, which was kind of frustrating, um, you know, I get flank shots on them, as men are like, like, absolutely knackered, they're so tired, they're so exhausted, 
you know, and now I see this unit's completely separated, isolated off, and I go in again. However, he's going to go into support. I can only conclude that these forests and areas is woods were saving him. It's all I can conclude because I could not understand what was happening in this fight because it was just totally bizarre. Um, it was a bit frustrating at the time, but I kind of look at it now and it makes you laugh because I just it's like this guy was destined to win uh, destined no matter what I did I wasn't having it you know um, it was smart though coming to the woods was, was a smart move because he's going to break up my charge and I think that's what was what I can understand here towards the end that was probably what was you know turning in his favour but it was this section before I had hit him circled and charged him several, probably about three times four times and he you know it didn't break his men and he was getting shot in the back with um, sling fire as well which is armour pierce Thing. So, you know, and, and the fact is cavalry lasted so long under those cataphrates and camels combined really kind of caught me off guard, to be honest. It was very, very interesting. Um, but it was a super fun fight, though. It was a super fun fight. And I think, you know, if I had killed this general earlier, I think I could have broken these units quicker. It, I think it was a big blunder, to be honest. I really do. It was not well executed by Moi. But um, I was thinking, well, his general's over there. If I quickly break his army before he notices, you know. So you, you never know, in hindsight, what you should do. Like, you look back and you think, oh, I should have done that. But at the time when you're doing it, you think, oh, his general's over there. If he doesn't notice it, I can quickly destroy his army. You know, while his general's off there. Because his, gen his general's not going to be within the range to support his army. Well, that was what I was thinking. Um, but you know, it was the wrong move. But you know, I couldn't have couldn't have known that. So anyway, um, I use my slingers here as infantry, which is brave. But I'm getting desperate now. I'm thinking I really might still lose. I, I really might lose this. So he sort of moved on to an upper uh, upper mound there, which was smart again. Um, so he made some smart moves here at the end, which really turned things into his favour. And I mean, I think I can only conclude that these words were ruining this for me. Because I just can't get these, I just can't get them. And he puts a bunch of peeler down on me or javelins that might have dished out a bit of damage. Um, but I do manage to break one of them. And let's have a look. And I rally again and that breaks that unit. And I was thinking, right, I've got him now. Surely I've got him now. Um, but this unit don't, doesn't start, it starts to waver, waver, wavering. And I think it's going to come back. I'm sure this unit's going to come back for about the fourth time. Let's see. I mean, it's wavering. I'm thinking, break, break, break at the time. And it just doesn't break. They just don't break. It's like it's like they're immortal and then my units start wavering. Um, and I'm thinking, oh, I've got to get out and do another charge. But I think if I try and disengage, I'm going to lose too many cataphracts. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Um... And this unit just continues to waver and waver. And so is this one. I think, oh, come on, I must have it by now. But this one here is still 74. And I'm thinking, nah, I don't think I have it. Um, and, you know, they just, they keep coming. They keep coming back. It's just like, when are they going to break? And they get another charge. Um, and I think I finally broke that unit. And I think, oh, I'm back up. I'm, I'm still in this. I'm still in this. The bar is so even. Go, Cataphrax. Go, go, go. And they got, like, loads of kills up near 100. And, you know, I'm thinking, you know, some of them over 100. And I'm thinking, oh, I must have. Look at this heroic noble. 291 kills. I think this unit got, like, even, like half of, half, like, I think this unit got, like, pretty much probably a third of his army's kills. It was phenomenal. Two, 300 kills there. This unit just doesn't break. I go for another charge here, but uh, he's got me now. I, c I couldn't break this unit at the time. It was a bit frustrating, so I really felt I kind of deserved the win that time. That I out that I outmaneuvered my opponent. I, I completely out I felt I completely sort of outplayed him. Nothing against him. I felt I out microed him, and he even he even himself said, "I think you you know you outplayed me there for sure." And I don't know. So, but he was smart to come to the woods. I guess that counted for a lot. So I'm not going to win this one, but I mean it's going to be the most pure victory for him. But I take my hat off to him. I don't know what was going for him that time. But he was like it was like he's destined to win that one because that was just that was amusing. Like amusing now, but it was kind of annoying at the time because I was like, oh, I've got him, I've got him. And it's like my army's like his army just regroups and thinks, nah, Parthia dies, and then he's just completely holding it. So um, cost to the enemy victory there, but.
I'm not I'm not disappointed with that. I was a wee bit at the time, but looking back at it now, it, it, it's a laugh. Um, and I don't know what 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 kept them together, but he was very fortunate that game. So good on him. Um, great game. Well done. I um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you soon next time.